Welcome to Cormac's Kitchen, coming to you from the National Yacht Club, Dunleary. Today, Cormac prepares the Commodore's Oriental Stir Fried Chicken. Enjoy. Hi, welcome back to the National Yacht Club. Today we're going to be making a chicken stir fry which uh, we are going to have to use a wok because you don't do stir fry without a wok because you need to get wok hay, you see? It means that you're imbuing the flavor of the wok into the actual food. So we're going to use some lovely fresh chicken fillets like we have here. We have some cucumber, we have some carrot, we have a, a red onion. We. Uh, we're going to also use some peppers. I, I mean, it's fairly open as to what you can put in, but always I think a, like it's almost a, a necessity to have some nice, fresh, crispy scallions that we chop up like this. I'll show you how and all. We chop them up and just put them on as a garnish. Yes, just to garnish. We're also gonna use some nice, fresh garlic. You see, lovely, fresh garlic and uh, yeah, here we go. The chicken preparation. We take a knife that's sharp, but not too sharp. Chicken that is fresh, but no growth hormones. And then we're going to trim the uh, connective tissue, any errant fat that's hanging around, because it's, it's a very fast cook and you don't have time to render those connective tissue bits that you would, if you were to slow roast your chicken, you wouldn't notice them there at all. Whereas, because we're doing this stir fry, it's an almost instant cook. So you need to have all, anything that is potentially um, chewy or, or uh, less texturally inviting, that uh, we keep that out. So, uh, Yes, yeah, so we are just going to do one more, just in case you missed the last one. You see, you scrape it away from the body of the fillet, you're scraping the fat away. Then the connective tissue always up here on the neck of the, uh, of the breast, just where it meets the knuckle joint. That's where you find the fascia that you want to eliminate um, as much as possible. And then I'm going to do a tiny butterfly at the fattest part of the, the chicken fillet. I'm going to do a little butterfly just here. And then we, the result, the, the desired result is that you will have the pieces of chicken are all cut to the same width so that they will all cook at the same speed. Like I say, you, you can pretty much do any vegetable, almost any vegetable so long as you have some class of an onion in there. Really what you're trying to say is that it's a, a spring kind of a feeling to, to the dish because it's all about sort of very fast preparation, very fast cooking. The cooking is certainly very, very fast. Um, so there's no time in it. I've just peeled the garlic and I'm gonna give it a, a fairly rough chop because it's going to be in the whole cooking process for, for, a, for a while. That's, that's fine, just like that. And of course, a, a red onion is always very nice to go into a stir fry, a little bit of color. You could use just a regular, a, a Dutch or a Spanish onion. Uh, I'd be almost as happy with that. But uh, anyway, I've been asked to describe how to peel an onion. Uh, yeah, that's a description. I've just described how to peel an onion. Anyway, then uh, we want to cut that fairly thin. And that will go into our, the stir fry is all mixed up. So um, it's quite important that, that everything should cook at the same speed. I will cut the, softer vegetables, like the cucumber, for example, uh, thicker than I would 
the carrot. Yeah, which I will cut thinner uh, because, of course, the uh, the cucumber will cook at a much faster rate than the carrot because um, it's not as uh, dense as the carrot. There's a lot more water in it, so it will, by its nature, cook faster. So uh, the carrot is ever slightly more tricky. You notice that I put just an edge off it. And the reason why is because I want it to sit flat on the board so that it's easier to cut these, for a better word, a scallop of carrot. And then when you have them cut like that, I will always try to, uh, particularly in Chinese cooking, to cut it at an attitude. Uh, it's, uh, it's a macro thing, as in macrobiotic cooking. But to me, macrobiotic in cooking is where you try to sustain the, the spirit, for a better word, the spirit of the vegetable for as long as possible, uh, right up to and including the moment of cooking. This is a pepper, I've taken the top and the bottom off, and uh, I'm just showing you, uh, I save that to show you how to cut it. Okay, so I also have some florets of broccoli, yeah? Uh, you just cut them off the stem. If there's uh, a bit of a, st uh, too much stem left on, you cut that off there, uh, and then cut the florets. But when you cut the florets, I always like to cut from the bottom because if you cut from the top, you're cutting through the flower. This way, you, uh, you stop short of cutting the flower. This is our stir fry vegetables. And, you see? It's a lovely, colorful, spring looking arrangement of, uh, of vegetables. Now, also, we have scallions. It's important to put the scallions in at the end because you don't want to cook the scallions. I don't think a cooked scallion is really a happy scallion. It certainly doesn't make me happy. Um, now, there's two ways of chopping your scallions. One is you can go like this. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping the tip of the knife on the of the blade on the, the board and using it like a protractor. Um, or you can also go like this, going backwards. Now I find that going backwards you get a cleaner slice. It doesn't come naturally. If, the, if you when you start doing it, it seems really awkward. But um, you do actually get a much better, a cleaner slice. And this again goes into the, the macro end of cooking because uh, the cleaner, the more surgical the cut that you can get into your vegetable, your fish, your meat, whatever it is, the more surgical the cut, the less you're going to interrupt or bruise the flesh. Bruising flesh in any language is not good if you are uh, trying to sustain the, the spirit of the food. So, uh, we've now finished preparing the vegetables. I have armed myself with two eggs. This is an integral part of the whole waki hey stir fry thing. And I have some lovely soy sauce, kikuman soy sauce. I'm also using um, a rapeseed oil. Uh, in particular, there's a very good Irish product called Collar of Gold. And I'm using the, the color of gold um, oil because it has a much higher burn temperature. In other words, you can put it into a pan and bring it up to a higher temperature before it gets smoky and burny and smells smelly like smelly burnt oil or diesel. I've got some pre-cooked basmati rice, aromatic basmati rice that I'm going to put in there as well. I've heated it up and uh, yeah, here we go. We seal the chicken and turn it round, a little bit of oil. Here's our chicken, there's our oil, nice and hot. And 
put the chicken in preferably flat and not, not stacked yeah so that you do not have one piece sit, sitting on top of another that's a, a very bad approach to any kind of a fry is to have one piece of flesh sitting on top of another piece of flesh even though that's all that we are the whole human condition is we're all just pieces of mud that stood up. The only difference is that some pieces of mud stand higher. Mud that stood up. Carbonica. Okay, we all know. And then a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. That's a uh, freshly crushed black pepper. And this is uh, salt. Now. that fire in the pan? I don't like that fire in the pan. Not all of the gas is ever going to burn. So what might occur is that you will have the gas going into the pan and, and burning in the pan and then you will get a, an actual taste of, of burnt gas that will go into the food. So we don't want that. Now, I'm just flipping these over. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is just so beautiful. Um, because it's already started cooking, I'll give myself more space to cook the vegetables. Just a little bit more oil, like that. And now here's my vegetables that I prepared earlier. Look at them, aren't they nice? Yeah? Spring, that's what it says to me, spring. Spring has sprung in vegetable land. Okay. I'm always trying to optimize the actual wok by taking it around the edges. Um, because that's the beauty of the wok, is that as the, the fire burns underneath it, it will heat up the edge, the bottom, at the same rate. Um, so you want to exploit that. Just to, uh, to exploit the heat that you have in the pan, and to get it into the vegetables, see a bit of water very very small amount of water and what you're doing is that you're transferring the heat that's in the steel into the air around the vegetables thereby speeding up the cooking process you see that water is pretty much evaporated already that's what you want to do now I've created a little hole at the bottom of the wok for a very specific reason put more oil into it and two eggs, yeah? Take the egg in. Uh, now, uh, you don't have to do a mad rush into uh, moving the egg around. The reason why is because you want it to, uh, you don't mind it cooking into whole pieces. It's all right when it cooks into whole pieces because you're going to break them up with the, the spatula. Yes, I do use a rubber spatula at this point because uh, it, it basically cleans the, uh, cleans the egg from the surface of the pan. And you see, all moving around, the egg's pretty cooked now. There's my chicken. I'll put the chicken back in. And we have a fresh plate. So there's my chicken getting a bit more heat into it. <laughs> Here's my cooked rice, that's Manti rice. I'll put that in. And then toss it away in your wok. Toss it away in your wok. The very last thing that we did in the pan is of course the uh, the soy sauce. So, where are we? Uh, I suppose that's for three portions. This is about a three portions that I have in the pan. Um, maybe a, a tablespoon for each portion. Yeah. 
Now I'm happy that that's cooked, ready to go. Turn off the gas and ready to plate up. So here we go onto the plate. And then the very last thing that goes on is your chopped scallions. And that's it. That from us today is a chicken stir fry from the National Yacht Club. Thanks very much.